In these problems, we're being asked to find the greatest common factor. Sometimes you'll see that abbreviated the GCF. So what is a greatest common factor? Well, the factors of a number are all those whole numbers that can be multiplied to make that number. So for 25, 5 and 5 um, make 25 when you multiply them. So 5 is a factor. Also, 1 in the number is always a factor. And then the greatest common factor is the biggest one that they have in common, greatest, biggest, and having it in common. So that's the greatest common factor. The way to do this, if you're trying to find the greatest common factor of two numbers, is to list the factors and then just look at the two lists and pick out the biggest one that they have in common. So let's try that for one, or sorry, for 25 and 33. So 25, we'll start with 1 and 25. And let's see, I'll go straight up from 1. Is it divisible by 2? No, because it's an odd number. Divisible by 3? I don't think so, because 24 and 27 are, and 25 falls in the middle there. Divisible by 4? No, 24 and 28 are, but not 25. Divisible by 5? Yes, 5 times 5 is 25. And that's where we can stop. Remember, when you find a repeated factor, that means you've you've exhausted it. You've come up with all of them. So there are only three factors for 25, 1, 25, and 5. So that's our list for 25. Let's do the same for 33. So 33, hmm. Well, first of all, I know 1 and 33 are factors because um, they are for everything. 1 in itself is a factor for everything. And let's see, it's not divisible by 2 because it's not even. It is divisible by 3. If you divide that by 3, you'd get 11. So 3 and 11. But let's see, I don't think 4 works. No, because um, 32 is a factor. Uh, uh, 32 is a multiple of 4. Um, and let's see, 5 definitely doesn't work because this doesn't end in a 5. 6, no, that'd be half of 11. That doesn't work. 7, let's see, 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 5 is 35, that falls in the middle of that. 8, no, 8 times 4 is 32, 9, 9 times 4 is 36, so that one's not going to work. 10, no, because it doesn't end in a 0, and then we get up to 11, aha, we've already got 11, 11, 3, so we found a, a, a factor for the second time, that means we're done. Okay, so now we've got complete lists of all the factors of 25, and of 33, and we have to pick the biggest number they have in common. The biggest number these have in common is actually one, the smallest number possible. So the greatest common factor of 25 and 33 is one. All right, let's try another one. 15 and 45 we're being asked about here. So let's go ahead and list the factors of 15. So one and 15 for sure. Two, no, because that's even. 3, yeah, 3 times 5 is 15, so it's got 3 and 5. 4, no, 4 times 4 is 16. Um, and then 5, yeah, we just found it, so we're done. So those four are the factors of 15. How about 45? Well, we've got 1 and 45, and not even, so 2 is not 1, 3. Yeah, so if you divide this by 3, you actually get 15, because 15 plus 15 is 30, and plus another 15 is 45. And if you, you weren't sure about that, you can have use a calculator to help you with this. Just keep dividing 45 by each successive number. So I'm going to put 3 and 15 down here. Okay, and then 4, no, it's not divisible by 4. 44 would be, but not 45. Is it divisible by 5? Yeah, because it ends in 5. And 9 times 5 is 45. And let's see, how about 6? No, 6 times 8 is 48. So that's not going to be divisible by 6. 7, 6 times 7 is 42, so that's not it. Um, 8, no, again, 6 times 8 is 48. 9, oh, well, we just got 9, so it looks like we're done because we got the repeated factor. Okay, so what is the biggest number they have in common? And uh, these guys have more than one number in common. One is in common, three is in common, um, five is in common, lots of common factors, but the biggest one is 15. So the greatest common factor of 15 and 45 is 15. So that's a little bit of work with finding the greatest common factor of two numbers.